Hey! Can't you read the bloody notice? Oh, it's you. Monda. It's not mud, it's bloody dust. We've got some cadets coming in this weekend. ACF. Real warriors. They're not really supposed to be here at all. Still. Anyway. Right, lads. Over the next few days, you're going to be working fairly hard. So while you're in the town tonight, I'm sure that you will play hard, eh? But just because you're not in uniform, you are still army cadets. Not the clothes. It's the principle, see? Cadet Sergeant King! know what she wants. I know what you want. Listen, love, he doesn't want to die a virgin, you know. Yes, sir. You will be gentle with him, won't you, love? Are you old enough to buy booze? Don't worry, love. We've got the rubber johnnies, you know. Yeah. Disruptive pattern. Girls love uniforms. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, madam. Here, hold that. Hey, love. Just for you, love. <laughs> you like it? Do you want Hey, love. Hey. Do you like that? Hey. Hey, love. Over here. Hey. Do cloud. You what, mate? A cock guy in the fern. You can't reach my hand now, he. I see going on the path. Bloody Taft talk. <laughs> hey, Taft! Taft! Be young for you, Inchy, mate! He don't understand the Queen's English. Yeah, mate, you sign language and. Hey, Taft! Hey, Taft, hey! Oi! God save me! Go on, get up! Hey! Stay in the victory! Hey, Pritchard! You on our side, mate! Yeah, you! Which side are you on, mate? Eh? Squad! Squad! Shut! That was rubbish! Now we'll do that again! Stand that! Peace! Squad! Squad! Shut! Right. After 
you been firing them? Well, where is he? We shall have his man. Look at that, Jackson. Yes, sir. What's all this about? Sir, A1 in the pictures, sir. What's the matter, Jackson? Food at camp, no line mums. I wanted to see it round, sir. The film, sir. So, ROPs, eh, Jackson? Sir, yes, sir. If only we could. Now, can I restrict your privileges, eh? Oh, come on, Jackson. We're not in the army, are we? We're all volunteers, aren't we? That's why we're all so damn good. Yes, sir. Why'd you join the ACF, Jackson? Keeps me off the streets, sir. What else? Weapons training. Skill at arms, sir. Look out the window, Jackson. Those two in the front rank, far left. Yes, sir. They're new with us. Yes, sir. Thirteen with big boots. Yes, sir. Little old men. Furtive, insecure, lost. The ACF will teach them enthusiasm. Yes, sir. You should have done better, Jackson. Yes, sir. Of course, if they don't fit in, we'll get rid of them. That's all we can do with you, Jackson. If you don't want to fit in, all we can do is send you home. No! Sir, no, sir. I have no life rounds or empty cartridge cases in my possession, sir. Make a declaration. I have no life rounds or empty cartridge cases in my possession, sir. Squad! Shoulder! Up! Out of some parade! Ball! Out! It's where the Paris did basic Wales. Think of that. We'll crawl through the same orange mud as what they've done. Yeah! <laughs> hey. Yeah? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> too much, too little, just right. As the actress said to the bishop. Right. Okay, so the scenario is as follows. There has been a battle, and you have had to make a tactical withdrawal. Now, you remember that field exercise we did a couple of weeks ago? Yes, sir. Well, there's nobody else? Yes, sir. Right, good. Okay, so your survivors of this military engagement scattered in sections in remote countryside, which from the off you should consider as hostile territory. You can expect partisan activity in the area at any time. Now, each section commander has detailed instructions of intermediate RVs. And uh, remember, section commanders, that if you miss any of these, return to the last one you made, right? Get bloody down, Jackson. Pritchard, give me a cap badge. So, hey, I reckon with you the show straw here. I'm Sarge, right, and you're Corp, right? Right. I'm Sarge, and you're your Corp, okay? Sarge. Hey, you two. A bit like section attackers and field crafting on exercise. Escape and evasion. 
What are these partisans? It's the enemy. It's bugger all cover. The litter's in the first mile, they always do. There's bugger all cover for them, too. What's that, Bob's love? Not in Sarge. What's that you got there? Cartlidge case RG76. Put it down, you're trained not to pick things up, right? Look, you two have been put with us because you're the weak link into the detachment, right? And they don't like weak links. The Wally in the wind. Right. Moving out. Keep spread out. Come, Come on, on, you two, bury the gaps. His eyes picked out. By birds. I reckon the foxes love her tonight. I'm a dead lamb, I reckon. Come on, let's go. Sarge. That's the road down there, isn't it? Yeah. You're dead! Oh. Oh. This is an SLR cadet. And you just had your navel blown through a large hole in your back. I did you say, sir? Then you should have gone to ground earlier, shouldn't you? Sir. Hey, Sergeant Balcom. Absolutely right, sir. And it's no good without the proper camouflage either, sir. Sergeant Balcom is perfectly correct. The camouflage must change with the terrain. What's the matter with you? You stop, listen, left, right, behind. If you think you're going to be hit, you go to ground, yes, sir? Right. You've got a hell of a bash on, sir. That's right, Cadet Sergeant Van Allen. Sir? How's the feet, Pritchard? Sir, fine, sir. Oh, good. Keep warm when you stop. Yes, sir. Keep warm, lads. Keep dry. Thanks, 
expect the unexpected. I'd say you're a bit behind some of the other sections. Seen all this lot? And this lot as well? Pritchard's a Welsh name, innit? Hey, Pritchard! You understand Welsh? No. No, of course not. Of course not what? Sarge. You're a bloody dickhead, Pritchard. What do you do when you come under attack, eh? A lot of damn Welchies in Zulu. Do you see that? Do what? The front rank fire. The rear rank fire. The front rank fire. Shut up, bum fluff. You drop, you roll, you stay sodden still. Uh. You reckon there's more than him? He ain't moved now for six minutes. That's our night stop. Not ours, mate. Not yet. Nice. Pritchard! Round the back, keep down! It's a dummy. All that for a dummy? Who's a dummy? Oh, Belter. <coughs> Christ. I reckon that compo coffee sold you fires in the brain. My brother did the Falcons jump. Ajax Bay. Port San Carlos, Estancia, <laughs> Tielendet, Stanley. Got every bloody girl who wants it. <laughs> you think he won the war in zone? That's the way it goes, isn't it? <laughs> Inspected foot again. Was that gangrene? Or his corpse farted? <laughs> Sod up. You're too bloody gobby, you. <laughs> Holt, who goes there? Advance one and be recognised. Holt, Bearer. Holt, who goes there? Advance one and be recognised. Holt, Bearer. Thinking of schemes. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, it gets me. Oh. Who even started? Who even started? Hey, don't worry about it. Oh, God. I can't get them to sleep. I've always been like. Grand cars. 
to his way. Get rid of that bum fluff too, and all you know. You're a tough regimental bath co. International distress signal. No, it's not. It's a bloody bird. Move it out. Go in if you want to. Don't get inside, sir. Go. You're going to go around here. Oh, sorry, Bobby Boy. Let's get on the helm. Hi, the fine eba. A gull in there with tired wife can actually even trod. On that JCB organol or helm and pass you some mid and bought him bloody awkward. Morning. Morning. Nice day, isn't it? Nice now, yeah. That'll be right there, won't it? Don't say I said so, am I? It's got its own personal guard. Are you saying guard of it, eh? I didn't hit you, Ducky. Well, are well. Their old trench is pretty hard. Not a bloody minefield. They look like mass graves. That's an A-10. Bloody hell. Must be bloody near the impact area. Yeah. Bugger all landmarks too. Yeah. Bloody smart dressing, isn't it? Yeah, guardsman. <laughs> hey, look at that one over there. He's fainted on parade. Are we going in there? Sarge? Are we, Sarge? Yeah. Hey, Jackson. Point Percy downwind. It's an evil-smelling pee. Funny colour, too. It's all this exercise I'm getting. I've got singing in my ears.
Come on, Kefili. Come on, come on. Bring Godwin with you. That's a good girl. Don't want you blown to pieces. Captain Smith, is it? Range warden. Ah, oh, I didn't hear you. Anything I can do? I, uh, I seem to have lost a section. Well, that is, four lads didn't turn up for an intermediate RV. Well, as long as they don't go into the impact area. What's a section commander like? Oh, he's excellent. He'd have made a bloody good regular. For some reason they didn't want him. Does he know? Oh, yeah, he knows. The others don't, though. I think the graziers are shooting foxes in the east section. That should be all right. Yeah, should be all right. Listen, Malcolm. Don't do that. You're affecting the compass. If we're lost. I don't believe you lost. All right. If we've missed an intermediate RV, we ought to go back to the last one. That is, if we're not lost. Look, I've worked out the error and I've allowed for it. We'll go on. Give them an interest lecture, Corporal Parsons. The Army Cadet Force faced the intelligence back to 1880 when, in the face of the threat of French invasion, the counties raised up volunteer battalions for the defence of the country, and in many cases, boys' companies were formed as adjuncts to the battalions. It was not long after this formation period that it was realised there were social benefits to be gained from such an organisation, and this aspect was added to the objectives of the cadets. The ACF received full and comprehensive support from the Ministry of Defence, and fully justifies the Army's description of a youth organisation. Its purpose is to instill in its members properties of good citizenship and spirit of service to, to Queen and country. All and right, all right, Pritchard. Very good. Go on, Jackson. You missed out a bit about membership implying no obligation to join the services. Yes, you left that bit out, Pritchard. Go ahead. It seems to achieve this purpose by, A, providing adventurous and challenging activities designed to develop the powers of leadership and qualities of character valuable to civilian and soldier alike. B. Stimulating an interest in the army, its skills, its achievements and its part in the national life. C. Offering encouragement and training to those seeking a career in the regular army or reserve forces. That's dead good, that was Jackson. Right. Jackson. Brick wall. You can't get over it, you can't get under it, you can't get round it. Sir, I bash me head against it and it's lovely when I stop. You're a wanker, Jackson. Richard? Sarge, I don't know, Sarge. Tell him, Corp. I don't know either. You do something. You, you kick the wall down. You, you take the bricks out. Do something. Right. End of the interest period. Moving out.
Is this it then? Is it Sarge? Is this the RV? Is it Sarge? Check it out. Move! I want this place converted to a tactical campsite. Fill all the forest approaches with dead bush and twigs. Stretch trip wires and all the gaps. And tie anything to them that'll make a noise. I'm not going to have another night like last night. Sarge. As long as it's out by dusk. I couldn't one of them kill that sheep. He lifted his head up and looked at me with his good eye. Don't get so close to the fire. You can't get warm, can you? The warm when my front gets the cold me back feels. Do you ever think? The whole thing. The whole thing is just, just, just an experiment, just to see which way we'll jump. No. I don't bloody imagine crap like that. I want to work with horses. My dad don't like that. Pritchards have always been infantry, see? Says horses can't keep in step and they crap on the parade ground in front of Her Majesty. What the bullshit. Just thought the whole bloody world's gone army barmy. <laughs> Go to exotic places and drop bombs on them. I'm gonna be in the Paris, me. One of the specials. CS gas. Anti riot. Got all this stuff from me, brother. Except. this. Where'd you get that? Found it. Why? And who wasn't lucky when you found it? That Dave Constance, wasn't it? Water tablets, oxo cubes, matches, striker inside lid, two guitar strings, and one pen knife. That live round? Get your nose out of it, bum fluff. What was that? Well, the cadets. Those are shotguns. Get some sort of bearing on it, Corp. Sarge. Partisans. Hey, Sarge, we're too far out. No, we're not. This time we'll jump the bastards.
That's a bit strong, you know. I could have been in them tents. It's all right. I don't know where we are. Well, I'm not bloody staying here. Captain Porter! And they mustn't know. Hey! Hey, you! Sarge! Sarge! Sarge here. Where? He's here. Come on. Pritchard! He was standing here. Are you sure he wasn't, Sergeant Balcom? Yeah, I'm sure. It was the one we saw talking to Porter. And the breeding great chainsaw. Bastard! Go! It's a sudden radio. There's no one here. Blanks.
Sorry. I got my gloves. All we need now is a southern signpost. How's your sidereal navigation? How's your piles? The stairs. Oh, come God! On. Hit the back! It's a Land Rover! Come up down! It's that Welsh nutter! Get down! Shut that window, Dick. There are monkeys. There's 30,000 acres out there, and somewhere I've got some boys lost. I don't care if your ghoulies get goose pimples. They're about to turn up. I'll be the final RV tomorrow. Don't want to blame yourself, you know. Toss for the sodden root and get us out these trees. I tell you, next time I see a Christmas tree, I'm going to reach for a bloody axe. Just let's get away and find somewhere to sleep. Get up, Cadet Jackson. I could sleep for a week on broken bricks. I need to chip shop. On your feet. Screw you. Up. Belonging to before, when the land was farmed, when they lived and worked the land. <laughs> Want to have a drink, Ivan? Got you, Dick. Good. Just a word about the exercise. I was not in here, eh? I was just listening. Not to... in here. You've never been a regular, have you? Sod you, mate. You are? You just ruined me night vision. Come in, John. Thank you, sir. No, sir. 
So they weren't there. I took out two sections and we combed areas F and G. Didn't pick up scurf. Do you want some coffee? Yes, thanks, sir. Okay, you go and get some kip. Two hours. Then I want you back with your eyeballs polished, right? Okay. Not a word about this, eh, John? Don't want the regulars thinking we can't run a show. I mean, what about that lad from Yorkshire last year? Missing all night, he was. Had 200 of us out looking for him. In the morning, he smells breakfast cooking. Crawls out from under a bush ten yards away. Been there all the time. Richard? Richard! Richard! Hey! Hey, wake up! Wake up! He's taking our boots! Oh, you can tell you have agility for oh, that. Get Richard! Richard! Hey, Sarge! Get up here! It'll suffocate you. If it hasn't already, what the? Get him out of there! You know, it's gonna kill us. I have no live rounds or empty cartridge cases in my possession, sir. We could pull a branch back and cut it, you know, so it springs round. That's no good for a Land Rover. What about a pit? Cover it with branches, you know, for one wheel. You'd have to know exactly where he was going. I don't reckon that'd be too easy. We can't make the RV. Not without our boots. We could gut shoot him. Use my bullet. Richard! Richard! Don't 
answer. It's tough. Can you smell it? The fire. Cooking. Can we have our boots back? Help yourself. Sorry, sir. Did either of you land to see a section in? England's youth still missing. I'll get some soup. Shame. Nice long weekend in the country. I expect they look forward to it. I expect you all do. I want to mobilize a full-scale search. Ground and air. Ground and air. for the enemy, sir. The partisan, sir. Right, get him out quickly. You two! Stretch your first aid kit! There's Double. a first aid kit in my Land Rover. Get it! Well, go on, boy, get it! Go on, move back there! Get out!
Next to the unique colour footage recording the events of the Allied advance across Europe from D-Day 